<laughs> what up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, I know I'm kind of late to this uh, event, I guess, or this issue, but I still wanted to speak on this. I told y'all I was sick the last couple weeks. Um, I am getting better. I'm, I would say, 90, 95% better. Um, like in my last video, you can still kind of hear it in my voice, <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> I want to talk about this Afro future fest nonsense. Um, a lot of you probably heard about this shit. It, it, it's just, it's enough. All right. <laughs> the, the, the craziness in this world is enough. I, I, I can't deal with it anymore. Um, the Afro Future Fest is supposed to be this music festival or, or you know, um, showcasing a lot of African-American talent. And uh, you have a woman by the name of Numi Ori. That's who you're looking at right now on the uh, screen. Um, she's the leader or organizer of it or whatever. And for those who haven't heard... <laughs> I can't. I, I, I do. I'm seriously. The world is making me sick. It, it, that's why I sound like this. It's the world. It's it's no disease. It's it's everything around me, like such a shit like this. So, this this chick thought it was a good idea to broadcast to the world that, well, we're gonna be charging. <laughs> I think it was like, we're going to be charging white people, what was it? I forget what the figure was. I think it was like 40 bucks and black people 20 bucks, you know, as a, as sort of like a get back, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, like a reparation type thing. And I'm saying to myself, how fucking stupid, how fucking stupid is that shit? How fucking dumb is that number one i've talked about how us as black people we love to put our business out there what did you think was going to happen by <laughs> what did you think was going to happen when when you put that out there you're going to have people openly calling you racist which you are <laughs> which is true that's a racist thing that's a racist uh thing to do it's like you want to sit and say that you um, that you're not racist yet you're dabbling in the same uh, same bullshit that racist people do. You understand? Like that doesn't make anything any better. Uh, my suggestion or solution would just be: Listen, I'm going to put this this festival out. Whoever wants to come in, the proceeds are going towards X Y Z. This is to help our people um, get ahead. With, with studies, put it towards school or colleges or whatever. That's something that is measurable, not this bullshit. It, it doesn't do anything. And it, it, you know what? I'm not going to repeat what a lot of great YouTubers have done um, because there's a lot of videos on this. But there is one thing that I didn't hear. And that's the thing. That's what I, I love to do and look for things that people don't say. That's what sets my shit apart from everybody else. There is one thing. I, I want y'all to think. What what are you gonna gain by doing that? All you all you're doing, number one, you're you're at what white people are you trying to get to pay you more? Because think about it. The white people that, that are interested in going to that show <laughs> usually are the ones that are your quote unquote allies remember so you're only fucking over the the people that ha already have an interest in going to your show so it really doesn't make any sense for you to do that you're, you're not fucking over the the people who you think are racist and that need to pay back any type of uh reparations or any type of uh um uh, shit that you think you're owed. You're not, those people aren't going to feel it because they weren't going in the first place. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man, I, I, this is why I say stop with this over this fake woke 
this fake SJW, you know, bullshit in hip hop. Stop it. It just makes y'all look fucking stupid. And then, then, then the chick turns around and, and I forget what she did to uh, rectify the situation, which still doesn't do anything. I forget. I think she like lowered the price for black people and for white people and said like white people could donate or some shit. It's like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, cut the bullshit. And then um, you had a uh, artist by the name of Tiny Jag. She dropped out of it because when she found out that that was what was going on, she goes, listen, that don't represent me uh, uh, nor my team, you know, um, and she's half white, half black. So I want you all to think about that. What about the half white, half black people that show up? What are you going to do to them? How are you going to charge them? You know what I mean? And ooh, what about the transracial people? You know, like your Sean Kings and all that. How, how, how are you going to charge them? Because we all know that uh, it's how you feel nowadays that matters. So if if you have a white dude that says, hey, I, I'm black, you, you're going to have to charge them the, the discounted price. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. I, I, I see. I want, see, we're living in clown world right now. I want this shit to keep happening. I want all this dumb ass, this, this, this stupid nonsense. I want it to keep happening because people like me are a, uh, now, yeah. And you can say that I'm, uh, I'm jerking myself off and all that. Yes. Common sense is dead. There is no common sense anymore. It's just what I feel. You know, so I just let this be a lesson to to you, uh, Miss Ori. Let this be a lesson to you. It sounds African, too, which is funny because I don't know any African. (laughs) At least, well, there are some cucked out Africans, but uh, majority of them don't act this way. They they about their money (laughs) and they smart with it. So um, let me just cut this video short. Uh, (laughs) Please like comment share this video please youtube is is uh not permitting me to grow um so please share this shit on your twitter and please upvote it uh that's it bro um (laughs) everybody else leave your love leave your hate most of all subscribe and that's it peace bitches